Hey guys, it's Michelle Storino for Ontario MMA Alliance, and I'm joined now by Luigi, the Italian tank, Fioravanti. Now, Luigi, it's a very Italian name you got there. Growing up, first of all, how many people screwed that up? Fioravanti, especially. It's a beautiful last name, but how many times did people screw it up growing up? Yeah, they, uh, they screwed it up quite a bit. Yeah, my teachers, and they really, they really butchered my last name. And then I always got compared with, you know, the Mario brothers, too, growing up, yeah. So you got the obvious questions, is your brother named Mario? All the time, All yeah. All the time, really? Yep. So what are some of maybe, like, the funny, I guess, butcherings of your last name? What are just... Because my last name gets butchered all the time, and mine's pretty simple. It's Sturino, but Sturbino, Sturnino, everything you could think of, people just come up with different stuff. Um, you know, I mean, no, they just couldn't pronounce it right. They didn't really... Uh, I didn't really have too many nicknames, you know. I mean, when I when, except for when I was uh, went to like boot camp, Marine boot camp, then they really, you know. But they were really derogatory ner terms that I can't really say, you know. Right. Yeah. So the Italian tank, where did that come from? Did that come from the military as well? No, no. Uh, one of my uh, bo my boxing coaches gave it to me because I'm always, you know, coming forward and getting hit all the time. So he's like, "Oh man, you're like a tank, you know. You're just getting hit all, all the time and eating punches." Not a good thing, I don't think, but hopefully I don't take too many punches in this fight. Yeah, you're fighting against Joe El Durte, Dirksen, another guy with a fantastic nickname. Just talk a little bit about your preparation heading into this fight. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I just trained really hard. It, I really didn't uh, change anything. I just, uh, you know, I worked on my wrestling, worked on my jiu-jitsu, worked on my striking a lot, you know, and uh, just, uh, you know, I have some good jiu-jitsu guys that I train with and uh, good wrestlers and good strikers, so uh, I'll be prepared wherever the fight goes. Now, if this is a coming out party for Luigi Fiervanti, I'll say very Italian-like, what do you want people to know? What do you want people to see? What's going to be the exclamation point on Friday night? Um, I'm just going to go in there and I'm going to be looking for a knockout. You know, I'm, I'm going to try to take Joe's head off. You know, nothing personal. It's just business. But, you know, he's, I know he's a nice guy. He's a cool guy. But, hey, that's what we do. You know, it's a fight. So uh, I'm coming to fight. I'm, uh, I'm looking to have a war. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping he's ready too. Yeah, so now this is, I guess the hard part is over. You've done the weigh-ins. Is that the worst part of being a fighter, cutting the weight? Yeah, I would think so. Uh, you know, that's probably the most miserable part. Uh, I didn't, I don't cut a lot of weight for 185. I walk around 195, so uh, it, it was, uh, it was, it's pretty easy cut. You know, I'll just diet a little bit and maybe sit in the sauna for 10 minutes, you know, 10, 20 minutes, and I'll lose the rest. But yeah, it's not a very hard weight cut, and so because uh, I don't like putting too much strain on my body. You know, I used to do that when I fought at 170, and it just took a lot out of me. It took a lot out of me, so. No, you mentioned diet, and you just have to watch a little bit of your diet once, obviously, the weight cut happens. Okay, so now what's going to be the meal post weigh-in? Um, I'm just going to uh, eat, like, oatmeal and sweet potatoes. Really? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, eat, I don't eat too many, like, uh, white pastas because uh, it gives me, like, it's wheat, you know, and it gives me indigestion and stuff. <laughs> I, w I was in Toronto a couple days ago, downtown Toronto. It's a beautiful city. I went and walked around a little bit. I like what I saw. So hopefully I can come back and uh, check it out, check the city out, check out the nightlife, you know. Good luck tomorrow night, and thank you so much for doing this. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.